this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, meaning it's already a proven stamp. It will come, all right? The Lord don't lie. It will come, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them, because a prophet's going to be from old and now, okay? It's the, we're on this earth right now, right? It's the same exact thing. The difference is we were stronger back then. Right now, we're weaker of age, all right? We have more infirmities and stuff like that, but we're still pushing out this information, and knowledge has definitely increased. We know more than the ancient prophets, okay? This is the information age here. Um, you got this Matthew chapter 3, verse 3. I just want to finish the point um, of uh, foundation being laid. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the prepare he the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And when you see the word straight, ethos, the Greek word is ethos, is G2117. G2117, ethos means upright or true, a leveled ground. Mm. I forgot what that said in Ezekiel. I believe it talks about the leveled ground. Mm. It's, it's a, a straight path. When something is bumpy, it's a crooked path. You can't really, the truth is not going to... Um, Flourish when something is bumpy, meaning it's not right. settled on a firm ground, a plain path. You can walk without tripping. There's no other doctrines to, uh, you know, you, if you got so many doctrines, uh, uh, a crooked path is like doctrine on top of doctrine on top of doctrine. You're not going, you're going to go all over the place. But a straight path is a plain path, a perfect, understandable path, upright, true, straight way, straight way, immediately forward. All right, so it's a leveled ground. Uthos wants to get ethos. G2117, once again, the Greek word. I think uh, there's also another precept going into what you were saying. And that was John the Baptist. Isaiah prophesied about John the Baptist, all right? Preparing the way for Yahweh Shah to come. The precept. Wh which one you uh, talk? I probably wrote it down. The way walk you in it. Oh, man, we, you know we got to grab two. Um, Isaiah 8 and 20. And I'll look for the one you want, too. Isaiah 8 and 20, got you. This. This. Is a light behind you. This is a oh, right. This is the way. Walk in it, God. I, I believe that's also in Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah thirty and twenty-one. You want me to hold that for you? Or? Yeah, you can hold that. God. This is Isaiah eight and twenty. It says to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, and they shall pass through it. Hardly be set. Oh no, that was the point though. If they speak not according to this word, that was that was it. It is because there was no light in them. You know, if you don't have no light, uh, you're gonna be stripless, tripping and stumbling all over the place. The scriptures tell you to walk while you have light. Mm -hmm. To let your light shine. Yahweh Shah is considered to be the light of the world too. What the cosmos were really dealing with the elect first. All right, really, because two thirds ain't gonna get it. All right, just like I what that scripture you're reading in Isaiah, he has labored. Uh, he said in vain he, I believe he said in vain right. mm -hmm. Really no Isaiah ain't labor in vain Alright But he gave the glory to Yahweh Why Yahweh shot Alright Because he's not going to forget Your work and labor and love Sometimes you feel like You're not uh, Doing this for, for the Lord You feel like Oh what am I doing this for That's the way the Lord Tests you too To see if you really want This new kingdom or not Do you want him to give us This new kingdom You want him to take Esau down Alright the, the, the answer is The answer I'm going to give you Is yes because we don't want to be here no more. We don't want to be here no more. Okay? All right. Because you always should come back to where if I stay here, what's going to be the end result? If I stay here, I'm going to die. You more know? Mar more so marches. I, right. So I got I to gotta leave. If I stay here, I'm, inevitab I'm inevitably going to be, I'm going to die. You know? Whether it be through, you know, food, through Esau's transhumanism. Yep. However it may be, I'm going to die. So I got to get out of here. God. This is um Isaiah. Wow. Check out this stuff. Okay. This Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word. Oh no, no. Let's start at verse um 19. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And Zion means uh, it's to Zion in the Hebrew, or it means a monument, okay? Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he shall answer thee. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed in the corner anymore. Meaning we're not going to be hit. 
right. Rob the owner. Oh, that was going to say. No, bring it up, bring it uh, up. Going back to Matthew's three, making a uh, way smooth. Right. Um. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. You can't teach yourself. You can't teach yourself. Meaning, if the if the uh, the Lord set the apostles to teach you, you have to go underneath that order. You can't climb up some other way. You're gonna hurt yourself. Okay. You can't teach yourself. All right. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Are not our eyes seeing our teachers out there on the highways and byways? All right. Um, I'm talking about the elect. And yes, the rest of the world made a spectacle unto angels and to the rest of the world. We are made a spectacle, okay? And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Well, I used to walk my um, past 34 for 7. I'll tell you a testimony. I tell brothers in videos. I used to uh, cross the street. I used to walk past, you know, I used to hate, like, like damn, should I go over there? Should I not go over there? But it's something that triggers off in your mind that when you're younger, it, it, the Lord is like pretty much conditioning you and building you up to say, you know what? It doesn't matter what you do I, uh, in this world. The thing is that when he chooses you to come into something, you're going to go into something. You're going to be, uh, Lord willing, I'll be grounded. But he chose you to come in his truth. And Lord willing, we are the elect. You know what I'm saying? But I used to walk by the camp and try to ignore it. You know what I'm saying? You go about doing music and stuff like that in the world and stuff like that. But in your mind, you be like, damn. But Jake. this is the truth. Yeah. You know it's the truth, but you've been trying to fight and convict, wrestle against the most high. Like, mm -hmm. But you know it's the truth. Deep in your mind and your conscience, you know it's the truth. And you be like, mm. but right. yeah, but my music, I right. can get the message across to my music. No, you can't. The Lord don't want to hear the, the noise of your songs. He's tired of that, man. He, even when he's in the world, he ain't even want to hear that. All right? <laughs> Fucking demons, man. All right. Let me read that again. Isaiah 30 and 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Talking about our apostles, our teachers that gave us this truth through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Walk he in it. When he turned to the right hand, okay? When he turned to the right hand and when he turned to the left. All right? So we got to walk in his truth. While we have this light, we got to continue in his truth. We know this is the truth because nobody on his, on, on, in this lifetime has produced the amount of truth. Such as the apostles through the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. Nobody of us have, have, has done it. All right? Nobody speaks according to this word. All right? What the apostles speak, the apostle Paul spoke. What the apostles speak, Peter spoke. All right? The spirit of the prophets is subject unto the, uh, unto the prophets. Uh, you, got, um, you got more on that? Uh, yeah, it says Psalm 78, and uh, I'll start at the top again. It says, Oh God, why? Has thou cast us off forever? No, it's like I'm in the wrong piece. This is actually a good well. Piece it's actually true start. though because he has two thirds off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> true. But uh, yeah, back at Psalm 78 and uh, One, it says, give ear on my people to my law, incline your ears to the words of my mouth, which will be given by the prophets. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh and his strength and his wonderful works that he have done. For he established a testimony in Jacob, all right, uh, Revelation 19 and 10, and appointed a law right. in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. And when you go back into Ezekiel 12, it says that the Lord always set a, a, a cluster aside, you know, to uh, basically tell, tell our people what happened to them, you the know, because our, yeah, our people are asleep, you know, so when you sleep, and then when you wake up, you try to figure, oh, what happened? You know, what happened when I was asleep? You know, and then the prophets that were always spiritually awake, you know, tells you what's going on. Right, we, we are awoke. We're spiritually awoke. Everybody's still sleeping. It doesn't matter how many, many speeches come out. You can speak a thousand speeches a day. That don't mean nothing. All right, the Lord don't care about your speech. All right, it's, it's, to him it's contemptible. It don't mean nothing. He wants to hear his, his prophets, okay, pipe. We have piped and they have not danced, right? We're singing a song that nobody on the surf can understand. 
but the apostles and the men that the Lord set up to understand this. All right. But Isaiah chapter 9, verse um, 15. Matter of fact, let me see where I can start at. The point is really in 16. It actually goes into a more before the Lord will cut off the Israel head and tail branch in one day. Let's start at um, Isaiah chapter 9, verse um, 16. For the leaders of this people caused them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. All right? So the leader of this people caused them to err. All your leaders, name some leaders, so-called so, -called, so -called leaders. Oh, Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jesse Jackass. Farrakhan. Uh, Farrakhan. Uh, uh, Martin Lucifer Kuhn. Uh, Marcus Garvey. Uh, you name it, Tupac Shakur's, the Jay-Z's, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the rap gods, you name it, Kendrick Lamar's, uh, J. Cole's, you name it, whoever, you can name them, all, even these these women that you put in a high pedestal, all right, these women that are, oh, man, when that day comes, man, all right, you're going to know that the Israelites really great millstone, and this is not arrogantly speaking, I'm not speaking to be all proud or arrogant, the Lord set up special men on this earth to do a specific job for him and we must do it we must complete the mission all right yeah how is job finish this course and we must finish our course all right so the leader the let me read this again isaiah chapter 9 verse 16 for the leaders of this people caused them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed so what you're doing is by tupac saying that i wonder if heaven got a ghetto heaven ain't got no ghetto that you're leading people to the slaughter you're leading people astray. Right. You can still be a nigga and make it into heaven. That's basically what he's saying. That, basically what he's saying, meaning you can just do whatever you want to do. The laws are not done away with you. How is I come to destroy the law nor the prophets? All right? You can't eat what you want to eat. You can't go commit adultery. You can't go sleep with another man's woman. You can't go uh, um, hurt nobody. You can't go shoot nobody down. All right? You can't do none of that, man. We're telling you that you cannot build off another man's foundation. The, 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 uh, the apostles are set on Yahweh Shai as the foundation. You cannot build off their, that foundation. All right? That's what we're telling you. To create your own platform, you're co creating your own scheme. All right? You're creating your, your own so-called ground to, to do your own thing. And that's wrong. There's people that hear the apostles talk about the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. And now all of a sudden you got Christians looking up words now. When do Christians, so-called Christians, look up words and definitions of words? Oh, the, the Greek word uh, for, for this means this and that. All of a sudden, they, they want to contend with you. Now, all of a sudden, they think they know something. <laughs> Easy to play. But you can't do one without the other. All right? You can't do one without the other. They tell you a Greek word, but they, meanwhile, they don't teach you you're an Israelite. What good is it? It's good for nothing. And plus, if they're not Israelites, they're not Israelites. It doesn't matter what you say. Doesn't matter who comes against the truth. You will be crushed from the great millstone beyond the title. I'm keep telling you, damn demons, that you're gonna get crushed, man. All right, you playing with the wrong power, man. You playing with the wrong entity and the wrong spirit. Yeah, how why you shot when they return? Digs even before they return, they're gonna make an example out of you through race wars, through martial law. All right, and your constitutional rights out the window. All right, martial law meaning you don't have to. Follow, they don't have to follow ordinary law. The government can do whatever they want. The branch of military, when they got the infantry rolling on you, is what they use like in Iraq and Afghanistan to come in and, and, and gun you down. Look, man, it's going to happen. The infantry is a part of a, a whatever branch of military. I believe there's five branches of U.S. military. They're going to come at you, man. Con, con. So with that, Lil' Willie. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, that was it. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, Hey, shalom to the elect. Keep on pushing, con.